Hey friends, welcome back to the UFD Tech Channel. We're gonna be going into the tech news of the day because there is literally nothing else going on in the world today, not for even a single second. Everything is just tech news. So we're gonna be talking about NVIDIA delay more graphics cards. We got some benchmarks of the Ryzen 5 5600X as well as a few other things such as new keycaps from G-Skill. We'll get into that after we talk about today's episode sponsor for hot news, which is Ting. My friends, in case you haven't heard of them, Ting is the mobile phone carrier that does things differently because you pay for what you actually use. We have two of our team members here at UFD Tech, not for long, on Ting because they're moving back to South Africa, in case you haven't heard. Anyways, our average bill between their two lines has been $23, and that's because they actually just use Wi-Fi all the time to contact their family back in SA, and so it's made it so that our bill isn't very high and it's been such a money saver to put them on Ting and you could potentially save money as well. Use the rate calculator, go to ufd.ting.com, save $25 off your first bill with them. They care about you as a person. They also have nationwide coverage. You got Sprint, T-Mobile, and Verizon Network all set up. And if you use the link in the video description, as I mentioned, $25 off of your first bill, which would have made an entire bill for me for two lines free. So check it out at the link in the video descriptions, my friends. And in case you're not familiar with how we do hot news around here, if you check the description, not only do we provide timestamps there for every single episode that we do, but we also provide sources for all of the information that we cover. So you can check all of that down below in case you want to. Now let's get into NVIDIA postponing more RTX 30 series stuff. And this time the casualty is the RTX 3060 Ti, but I'll get into something else just quickly for a lot of people. I saw they were posting in our Discord and sending me individual screenshots. The people who were able to place orders for the RTX 3070s from Best Buy, even though they were supposed to ship out sometime soon, they're getting notifications that they're not shipping out till November 20th, which is after AMD launches their cards, which is just horrendous obviously that's just it's such a prolonged delay purchasing it at the end of october not getting it until over halfway through november is a little rough nvidia clearly not doing well with their stock situation that's apparently what's happening with the 3060 ti getting delayed until December 2nd, which this is supposed to originally have launched on November 17th, just a day before AMD's launch. But I think NVIDIA might probably be done with the bad press about how they can't supply the cards. And so instead of trying to compete with AMD's higher end launch and then NVIDIA's lower end launch, they're just going to move it until December 2nd. That's the general idea. Allegedly, it's still being distributed to retailers and reviewers so that we should get reviews at some point. I would expect that NVIDIA would try to kind of sandbag the entire AMD launch event by getting reviews out but the 3060 ti in case you aren't familiar is supposed to be the 400 dollars entry with 4864 cuda cores is supposed to be the affordable version of what's coming out it's still not yet known if we're getting a 3060 but i could potentially see the rtx 3060 ti is like this is this is as low as you should go if you want actually good ray tracing and then we get like a gtr grtx which is g-force kind of ray tracing but not still kind of connected to the 1600 series and then it's the, the GRTX 3060. I'm just making things up and it, it it's not a good idea, but 3060 Ti allegedly being delayed, but that didn't stop Galax from teasing their Hall of Fame cards, which they're showing off in a, just a render, obviously. This looks super low resolution, but it's apparently gonna have a massive screen that you add onto it, and you're gonna be able to see everything that's going on. That's gonna be a chunker. RTX 30 series cards are already big, having a Hall of Fame that's even bigger and wider than that. Oof, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a, a special boy. Now let's get into special AMD cards, because apparently AMD is in talks with third parties to get custom designs and now i hear you say aren't we supposed to get custom cards on launch well according to reports the only custom cards that are going to be available at launch are going to be reference design pcbs which means that amd designed and made this and then they're just slapping a custom cooler on top they're currently in the process of negotiating and working out having the board partners actually create their own pcb designs to come out with different cards that aren't exactly what amd is releasing so those will likely be sometime towards december maybe even early next year we'll see AMD actual true custom cards come out. But Intel is getting custom GPUs integrated into dedication on 
laptops because it's not an integrated graphics. It's a dedicated graphics. Anyways, the Z Max is now here. This is what Intel's DG1 was originally supposed to be. Now it's called Z Max and it's coming out in three different laptops. The Swift 3X, the Vivo Book Flip TP470 and the Inspiron 15 7002 and one. You can actually let me know if you want me to check any of these out. I'm kind of considering picking one up just to review it. I was highly disappointed by Tiger Lake supremely on my Dell uh, on my Dell XPS two and one. So maybe this might be a little bit better, but uh, I'm not going to do it if if people actually don't care about Intel graphics. So let me know down in the comments if you want me to review this. And just as a kind of side note, even Intel did this as a side note. The DG1 GPU, which is supposed to be a dedicated desktop GPU as well, is only going to be coming to OEMs. They're not going to be selling it directly to the consumers. But just like I did, you can get OEM stuff to you as long as you're willing to potentially buy it from a shady seller on eBay from Hong Kong and wait a couple weeks in order to get it. But, you know, to each your own. Now, let's talk about Andy's CPU division because it looks like they're doing well. According to a Linus Tech Tips a forum poster, he has the benchmarks of the Ryzen 5 5600X in Cinebench, and these scores are actually quite dang good. They're actually close to, not, not exactly, but close to what a Ryzen 7 3700 hundred X is looking like and this the single core performance is great the multi-core score is phenomenal the 5600 X the 5000 series from AMD looks like it's shaping up to be a good generational leap you just got to ask whether or not it's worth the $50 price hike but according to Corsair the price purchase for this company Epoch Cam was worth it because they did purchase it. That's the entire segue. It, it, the Corsair is purchasing them to fold them under the Elgato thing. Epoch Cam is used for live streaming your phone as a webcam. And so you can now use that and it's $8 apparently for the pro version. Now let's go ahead and talk about something that G Skill just launched, which are these Crystal Crown keycaps. They're a keycap set that has a either white or black top with a transparent bottom layer for the RGB. They actually look quite stunning. They sent them over to me ahead of time and I have to say that the ones I the black ones that I have on my keyboard right now look stunning with that clear bottom they're compatible with Cherry MX stems they're $20 on Amazon and so in case you're trying to spiff up your keyboard this might be the way to go this this might do it so check them out at the link in the video description I enjoy them they're just keycaps 20 bucks and you get a good looking set but you can't get a good looking set on your ps5 at least as it's concerned with customize my plates because they've been issued a cease and desist by Sony because they were fabricating or at least were going to fabricate custom side panels for the ps5 and them tweeting out that there are patent and intellectual property issues so they're going to be canceling all orders so if in case you want custom side plates we're just going to have to wait for official first party versions of it from Sony and Apple's going to give us a first party look at their event the one more thing event on November 10th of course it's going to be first party it's going to start at 10 a.m people are expecting that this is going to be the unveiling of the first laptops with Apple Silicon which are supposed to be pretty dang good and then also people are hoping that it's going to unveil the new air tags as well as the AirPods studios and there are supposed to be a roughly three different versions of MacBooks that are going to be running on Apple Silicon at first with the 13 inch Mac MacBook Pro and the MacBook Air getting the key highlight there. Now, I just want to quickly highlight something that makes me quite happy, and that is the Cyberpunk 2077 phone from OnePlus, the OnePlus 8T Cyberpunk Edition. I love the way this looks. It's going to cost $600, but unfortunately, it's only going to be released in China. And that is where my hope dies, just like my hope is dying at the fact that I is Cyberpunk even going to come out this year? Who knows? Hopefully you have an exciting rest of your day because hot news is over and I know that this is the best part of your day. This is the escape from all the other stuff that's going on. So hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out today's video sponsor Ting and save $25 off your first bill with them by using the URL ufd.ting.com. I've been Brett with Hot News. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.